Hi, uh, this uh, podcast is on California legislation and the single subject rule. Um, capital observers are generally aware of the single subject rule, Paul, although most often it is associated with initiatives. In Article 2, Section 8D of the California Constitution, it states that an initiative measure embracing more than one subject may not be submitted to the electors or have any effect. But most people are not aware that a similar rule exists for bills that are considered in the California legislature. The single subject rule is found in several state constitutions across this country and provides that some or all legislation may only deal with one main subject matter. The general idea here is to ensure that measures are not overly complex or that they may possibly confuse or hide provisions in a multi-subject matter measure. Some have argued that the single subject rule also precludes combining popular and unpopular but unrelated provisions in one single omnibus measure. So in California, there is a single subject rule for legislation. It's found in Article 4, Section 9, which states, a statute shall embrace but one subject, which shall be expressed in its title. If a statute embraces a subject not expressed in its title, only the part not expressed is void. So there you find it. Section 9's language is similar to that which is applicable to initiatives, as I mentioned at the outset. In both instances, the rule essentially provides that neither an initiative nor a bill may embrace more than one subject. Now, while the section of the state constitution dealing with initiatives speaks only to the single subject rule, the section of the state constitution dealing with legislation encompasses several provisions. In the first one, it says the single subject rule itself. It also requires the bill's title to accurately reflect the subject of the bill. And in fact, it makes void any subject that's contained in the bill that's not expressed in the bill's title. Hence, the Office of Legislative Counsel has to be accurate and proper in its uh, writing of the actual bill title and keep it broad enough to encompass what is contained in the bill. It was in 1948 that the California Constitution was amended to add the single subject rule for initiatives. The following year, the California Supreme Court ruled that the single subject rule applicable to initiatives was to be construed in the same manner as Article 4, Section 9, which was already in existence. The provision applicable to legislation had long been in effect by that time and by the time of that court decision in 1948. The way the courts have generally viewed it is that the single subject rule is generally to be construed liberally to uphold proper legislation, all parts of which are reasonably germane. There are a number of cases that have interpreted and applied the single subject rule as it is made applicable to legislation. The main case is called Harbor versus Duke Majan, a 1987 a California Supreme Court case which said that the single subject clause has its primary and universally recognized purpose of the prevention of log rolling by the legislature, which is combining several proposals in a single bill so that legislators by combining their votes would obtain a majority for a measure which would not have been approved if divided into separate bills. The, the Cal Supreme Court further explained that as of 1982, the constitutions of 41 states had included a single subject requirement. The purpose of the requirement that the single subject of a bill shall be expressed in its title is to prevent misleading or inaccurate titles so that legislators and the public are afforded reasonable notice of the contents of a statute. The court also stated that cases interpreting Article 4, Section 9 hold that a measure complies with the rule the single subject rule, of course, if the bill's provisions are either functionally related to one another or are reasonably germane to one another or the objects of the enactment. 
So again, California legislation is bound by a single subject rule. And there's clear guidance from the state Supreme Court how that rule is to be implied, applied when bills are considered by the legislature, just as when initiatives are considered.